Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany and today's video I have is my peeping pan project update number eight. So if you don't know, this is a Pantastic Ladies collab and the creators are Jessica Lee and Amanda D. And I will have both the group and the creators linked down below in the description box. So go ahead and check them out. I always say this in my videos, if you're a project pan, if you love project panning, check them out the group and the creators. I actually did hit gold in two products that I have out of the five, so let's go ahead and get onto it. The first product I did hit pan on is this Dandelion by Benefit, and it's just a deluxe size sample, but it has a lot of product in it. It's like three grams of product. I did hit my goal, and that was to hit pan, and I hit like this weird side pan, if you can see. It's not just like the side of the pan, but it's also the bottom of it as well. And I'm calling it pan. It just, I don't know, that's just how I want it to hit. And that is my pan. And the next product I did hit go on was this Rimmel Nude Waterline Pencil. And I love this product for the lower lash line. And what I wanted to do was pretty much just use up a cap size. You'll see the before and after pictures. I hit my goal in this and... I still have this much left. So those are the only two products I did hit goal on. I didn't hit goal on the other three. So I will be continuously working on them throughout the October month. Hopefully hit pan. And the three products that I did not hit goal was this Cute AF palette by Colourpop. And my goal was just to hit any pan in any shade. And that is what it's looking like. Now this one I did crack so it's very thin. So if I hit pan in that I'm not going to call it done or the goal sets because I think that's a little bit of cheating so I'm just focusing on the other ones well I can of course use it but I'm just not gonna call this goal if I hit on that one and then I do have this yellow shade in my um, wayward pens if I do hit yellow that'd be great it'll be done for this project and for the other one but yeah I have quite a sizable dip in this um, red shade right here Hopefully you can see it. I feel like the light washes it out a bit. But you'll see it right there. There's quite a big dip in that. A little bit of a dip in the yellow shade as well. A little bit of dip in this like light orangey shade. But yeah. I'm getting a fair amount of use on it. And I'll just continue to use it until it pan in one of these eyeshadow shades. The next product I did bring in was this Too Faced Candlelight Glow and Rosy Glow Duo Highlighter. And it's a deluxe size sample as well. I love deluxe size samples of blushes and highlighters because it is very difficult to go through <laughs> or even hit pan on. But this is where I'm at now. As you can see, there's actually a quite a large dip going in it. There you go. You see the dip a little bit more. But it's getting there. I really do like how it looks on the skin. Uh, but what I don't like is that it get, tends to get hard pan, so sometimes I do have to scrape at it. But I like it nonetheless, so yeah, I'll just keep using until I hit pan on this product. And the next product that was already in this project is this Tarte Blush in Thrilled. It's a deluxe size sample, and this is where I'm at now. Hopefully you can see, you can kind of starting to see the center ring and definitely the embossing is gone and worn away from. So hopefully within another month, maybe two, I will be able to hit my goal on this. So since I hit goal in two products, I will be rolling those two products out and rolling two new products in. And I got this idea to roll these new products in from I think a beauty guru made me do it. And she's been trying to hit um, pan in all her ColourPop shadows and I'm gonna do about the same thing not but not just focusing on ColourPop but just all my single shadows that are in like pop forms or it can't be depotted and put in a Z palette so I do have a ColourPop color it is Envy you'll see there it's a really dark purple shade swatch that for you so that is that is Envy and this is going to be hard because this is a dark shade and I don't normally wear a lot of dark colors except for today. <laughs> but it is very beautiful. So I am looking forward to using it and hopefully I can get a lot more use out of it. 
because the ColourPop formula are notorious for drying out. So I definitely want to get more use out of those before they do dry out. And I mean, this one's a little gritty, but I think that's because of the color. It is like a black with purple reflexes in it. So, it, but as far as I felt, it's still very smooth. Hopefully I hit pan and get at least my money worth out of it. The next product I am rolling in is this Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Leather Curl. I don't know what they call it that. By iStudio. And this one is in Creamy Beige. That's so reflective and you can't see. But that's what it looks like. I'll show you what it looks like. It's starting to dry out. It's pretty much like a cream base formula. And it's starting to dry out. You can kind of tell it's moving away from the... Um, the jar and that's usually a sign that it's drying out so I kind of want to get use out of this as well hit pan at least and get my use out of this so I'm going to try to swatch this for you guys too and that is what that looks like so it's a really nice cream base so maybe it's an all over eye primer or something just to layer on top of Something, or layer under some like glittery shadow so hopefully I can get use out of this as well so that is actually gonna do it for this update I hope you guys did enjoy the video please give me a thumbs up if you like project panning videos if you like these type of videos I honestly think this project pan is just a great way to use it without the pressure of finishing up a project or without finishing up a product so I really do enjoy this project and I hope you guys did too please hit that subscribe button if you already aren't subscribed and I'll see you guys real soon and I hope you guys have a really good night or day wherever and whenever you guys are watching this okay bye so that is actually gonna do it for this part so that is gonna so that is so hopefully I can at least it because color pop formulas tend to go since color pop formulas tend to go a little dry and crumbly the last part that was in this previous, um, and then the next part I did hit my goal on was this Rimmel Nude Water Eye, Waterline Pencil <laughs> Eye.